the mortuary for many years. This was just, it was like a, a block of time, correct? And then it changed into multiple things as the years went on. Yes. Okay. Because I see there, there's some stuff stuck here from the 80s too, and I almost feel like that's where Todd must belong was in the 80s. I don't feel like he was way back. I feel very manly in here. Like it's very, um, it was very, was it a gentleman's club or did they do things in here at one point? Do you, does anybody know that? I'm not sure. I feel a lot of male energy, not Is not not body male energy either. Oh just yeah. like like they came here and they hung out, kind of male energy. Right in this this area here, yes. in this room. Was there a barber shop in here too, or something? Because I almost feel like that's sort of it was like they came and they hung out and they talked, like you know they were cutting hair and doing things. And they did over there. That was when we See, so I could be picking up both, but yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I'm feeling, was it male though, or was it a, a woman's hair salon? Because I, sure. I definitely feel an older time though, that know. males were here doing, like a barber shop. Yeah, I'm not sure if it was a barber shop or if it was more of a salon. Yeah, yeah it was more of a salon. Yeah, I, I'm dating back to like, I don't know, maybe the 40s or 50s with okay. that, the barber yeah, and I'm shop. Not, not crystal clear on what was. Because the mortuary, I feel, was in the time frame if I, the people I've seen that came and went in the morning would have been early 1900s. Does that make sense? Yep. Okay. So then when it switched, I feel like it switched, maybe the time frame was probably about the 40s or 50s because I see a different type of person in here. And that's when I feel like it might have been possibly a barber shop. And the whole building wasn't used. It was just used up front. So, who's in the room with us right now? Will you come forward and talk to us? A lady. A lady. Yeah. Well, who's the lady? She's a little bit. <laughs> What's the lady's name? Does she have a big dress on? Why do I see her wearing pink with a big bell like kind of skirt? Like a bus. Yeah, a bus. Yeah. And it's pink. She's wearing pink. It's about time you got here. About time you got here? With the pink lady? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, definitely, uh, well, I don't want to say definitely, but I feel like it was more late 1800s. 1880. Yeah. 1860. 1901. 1901. He said 1901. No kidding. Yeah, the dress, well, maybe she had an old dress. I'm kicking your foot in the So is it 1901 or is it 1800? Are you going to make this part of the restaurant? Eventually, we'd like to. Yeah, because that's what I heard. That's what they're telling me. They're telling me to make this part of the restaurant. Are you guys okay with this becoming all restaurant? They're telling me you're going to need it bigger. <laughs> I hope so. That means Elgin's on the rise. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing my job right. That's right. Yeah, I heard they're going to need it bigger. They said you need to make this part of it. So many At hands. least the front. Not necessarily all the way out back, but at least the front. Definitely. Sure, here with it. The puzzles. They're showing me bands. Are you going to have bands when you open this part? I see music, live music, and fun, and that kind of stuff. Yep. Alright, well, apparently it's going to happen because they're showing it to me. Cool. And I see, like, summertime and a lot of fun and something to do with the street in the summer. So I don't know if there's going to be umbrellas on the street or I don't know, but something to do with the street and being able to see in here and bands and... And who are they? Is it the lady with the kids? I, I don't know. I'm just channeling. I think I'm just channeling just the honor. Yeah. There. Yeah. It's not anybody from the.
I'm just channeling what they're they're showing me. They, I don't know. You know me. I don't know who they is. I don't ask. I don't. I never ask who they is. Huh. It's interesting. Yeah, I definitely see it. And um, it's it's important, imperative. I'm feeling that you keep the brick and the the rustic kind of feel that belongs to the building. Does that make sense to you? Okay, that's extremely important. The old fixtures, the you know what I mean, the whole the the whole atmosphere, and you need to keep that. That's going to make it. People are going to come because they enjoy the atmosphere too, not just everything else. I feel like the food is really good here too. I need to come. I looked at your menu before I got Eric, here. Erica can vouch for that. She's one of our cooks. I'm telling you, I looked at the menu before I got here. I was like, wow. I agree. Yeah, a lot of work went, went into getting it back to that old feel. And that's it, it was very important. So I'm glad you did that. Yeah, I see uh, definitely tall man, black hat, black suit, very stoic walked around i feel him walking around here but yet he had this sick funny personality when he was on his own everything had to be in order i feel like he was very um ocd kept the place in order everything had to be in order right down to fixing chairs there was always chairs being fixed. Like he didn't like it if one was just out of whack a little bit. It, it made him lose control. That that was the case. Or you might be picking up again. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but definitely you that's the, how the it was. Peanut gallery comment in the back. <laughs> well, maybe that's why he likes you in the building. Maybe. I don't know. Because you, you take care of it the way he would have. So. What was your name, sir? Morris. Is it Morris or Morris? Something like that. What I did hear that. Like that. That's not the name of the owner, though. Were you pretty particular? So it's got to be killing you with their shit laying all over the place right now, huh? <laughs> I don't know, when you said you're pretty particular, I saw a carpet too that was like always clean. Like I could see only one of them little apply. hand backs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He had a little hand back that he... I feel like the carpet was flowered and like the print. What was the one you made your cassettes from? When you said that, I saw trees coming down because you said it so specifically. Yeah. Being milled, would be a mill for it. Like you ordered it. Did you import your wood? <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. Okay, Mr. Undertaker, we're gonna let you go. Actually, I think when it was the Undertaker, I feel plaster. Like I could see men putting plaster on the walls. Yeah, we all that out too. Yeah, there was plaster being smeared on the walls. I could see when you're working. Yeah. 